有人说，人的一生忙忙碌碌，无非就是这几个瓶子。人活着究竟是为了什么？如果人生没有意义，那我们为什么要拼命活着呢？为什么小猫小狗吃完就可以安然入睡，但是人却会因为想不明白人生的困惑而彻夜难眠？如果人活着的意义和动物不同，那么这个意义？到底是什么呢？请听美国宣教士 d a m b l e m a n 用两分钟为我们解答这个千古难题。I believe that we live because God in heaven made us, and He is love. And if God is love, can you have love without a free choice? You, you don't. Love has to be a free choice. Otherwise, it's not really love. It's obligation, or it's doing the right thing because you have to. Love is a choice between two people to show that you love and care for them. So I believe God made us, and He invites us to love Him. And so, yeah, the reason you're living is you get a chance to love the one who created you, a chance to respond to the one who created you. Why would we want to respond to him? Because the one who made us gave us free choice from the beginning, and because of that free choice, we had to have not only the chance to choose him, but to choose against him. And thousands of years ago, when God created man, they he chose against him, and he chose not to follow the ways of God. So what God needed was a sacrifice. What God needed was a way to make things better. And he provided that through his son by dying on a cross. He provided a blood sacrifice so that we could once again live that we were created to live. How are we created to live? To be loved and respond in love. How do you respond in love? You say, "God, I love you. God, I want you. God, I need you. God, I believe in you." And that's why I think we're made to live the way we're created to live. Like, did we just come from the air or from something? No, we we were made by God, and He made us so that we would discover His love for us, and so that we could love Him back. And the way you love Him back is you choose Him and you say, "Yes, I want you." And that's been my whole journey, and millions of others, and maybe for everybody. And we were created so that the reason we live is so that we can choose God. And know why we're created. Amen. Thank you, Ben. If there is no God, life is really meaningless. But because man is created by God, to love God and live for Him, is it not the meaning of living for God? Then, why do animals and birds not ask their purpose for living? The answer is in the Bible, chapter seven, verse seven. The Bible says, "In the book of Genesis." 经文说，耶和华神用地上的尘土造人，将生气吹在他鼻孔里，他就成了有灵的活人，名叫亚当。亚当是上帝创造的第一个人，他受造的时候获得了神的生气，其他动物却没有，所以人成了有灵的活人。因此，人因为有了这口生气，人与动物完全不一样。动物没有那口生气，所以动物不会与上帝交流，自然不会问他们活着的意义是什么。上帝的所有创造物中，只有人是唯一能够对上帝产生回应的活物，而人对人生意义的追问，就印证了有一个造物主，因为只有造物主才能决定被造物的价值和意义。